Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com. Today is going to be one for the Mac users out there. Sorry, Windows users. Um, you can watch anyway just to see how this all works, but this one is specifically going to be about a program called Preview that I'm sure pretty much everyone Mac user has used, but maybe hasn't explored its capabilities to the fullest. Most people know of the program called Preview from any time they double click on a JPEG or a PDF document or whatever. And Preview, or as Mac users call Preview.app, is the program that loads to view it. Now what a lot of people don't know is that Preview.app is actually a pretty decent um, document editing program in its own right. It can't do everything that Acrobat and those sorts of programs do, but it can do a lot. So I'm just going to run through th some of the things that Preview can do um, and it may save you from having to load another application if you're in it already. So the first tip is you can actually delete and reorder pages right from right when you're viewing a PDF in Preview. So what you want to do first is hit this sidebar button. And you can see here that over on the side you can see a listing of all the pages that are there. So let's say for whatever reason we wanted to um, reorder these two pages here. All you need to do is click on the page you want to move and drag it down. And as soon as you see that little red line there, that means it's ready to move. So let go. And now you can see it's moved. So that can be really handy if you want to move pages around quickly. The second thing is you can delete a page. page. This is pretty handy. This, if you're using a scan set, for example, it's very good at removing blank pages. But sometimes if there's something on the page, it won't remove it. So let's say we wanted to get rid of this title page here. You just need to go up to Edit and delete selected page and it's gone and there you go now I'm sure there's a reason why you want to do this I can't think of why but if you want you can insert a blank page too so go to where you want the page to go go edit and insert blank page and you can see now right above the page that we had selected there's a blank page and I'm gonna just gonna go delete that right now There's also some uh, functions for when you're viewing a PDF to make it look easier. So what you can do is go up to view and then you can see here there's a PDF display section. So right now the default is single page. And you can see here that you know you have to move down or go page down to go to the next page. But if we want to see the, the page just before and after it too, go view PDF display, display and single page continuous and now you can see you can see the other pages as you're viewing this page. Now another op option is called two pages and as you can probably guess I'm just gonna make this zoom to fit it lets you see two pages side by side. And similar to that, if you go view PDF display two pages continuous, it basically lets you see four pages at once. I'm going to flip back to single page. So let's say you have a document that you want to read on screen and you want to concentrate on it. You can actually put it into full screen mode. So go view slideshow. And now the whole thing's in full screen mode. And you can go down here and click on fit to screen and it will make it bigger. This is really great if you have to read documents on the screen. And you can also hit the index sheet to see a big list of all the pages and you can jump right to the page you want. And that's it. That's a quick uh, run through of some of the image or some of the PDF 
management tools that Preview.app has. You might find it handy if you don't want to have to load Acrobat or some other application if all you need to do is delete a page or move things around. If you have any questions, go to www.documentsnap.com. Thanks.